So in the last video, we went over how to make a straight line out of the uh, the Michaelis-Mitten equation, uh, and we did the Linn-Weaver-Burke. In this one, we're going to do the haynes wolf which is just a slight modification to the Linn-Weaver-Burke. And the reason for, uh, that the haynes wolf is a good uh, equation to know is because it actually provides a little bit more uh, Accuracy. By accuracy, what I mean is, if you have a, a line like this, the Linn-Weaver Burke, the the uh, higher you get and the higher velocity you get, the more uh, disparity it has from actual values. And so, um, whenever you get the the Haynes-Wolf, it has less disparity from actual values. So to drive the Haynes-Wolf, we're going to start with the Linn-Weaver Burke double reciprocal equation right here. And we're going to multiply uh, both sides by the substrate concentration. So what we get is the substrate concentration over the velocity is equal to Km over Vmax plus the substrate concentration over Vmax. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange this so that this is over here and this is over here. Uh, what I mean is the substrate concentration over V is equal to the substrate concentration over V max plus Km over V max. And so what I did is I just rearranged the, the order of, uh, of operation but didn't change anything. So from there I'm going to just break out the substrate concentration to be by itself again so I get uh, on, the, on the other side of the equation. So I get substrate over V is equal to 1 over V max plus, or not plus, but times the substrate concentration plus Km over V max. And so we have Y equals M X plus B. And in this you'll notice uh, a few things. First of all, um, the Michaelis constant is a little bit uh, easier to derive because uh, you can derive it directly from the equation once you know what the slope is. You just take the inverse of the slope and multiply it by the y-intercept to cancel out v max, and you can find the Michaelis constant much faster. And so this is actually a graph of the substrate concentration over v. Uh, versus the substrate concentration by itself, and you just get a straight line. The slope is equal to the slope is equal to uh, one over v max, and the y-intercept wherever that happens, or the yeah the y-intercept wherever that happens to be is equal to km over v max, and you don't really have to remember that because you get it from the equation. It's right there. There is one other linear plot for Michaelis kinetics. It's called the Edie Hofstie, so the Edie, the Edie Hofstie. Um, I'm not going to go through deriving it. It's fairly simple, but I'm just going to show you what the graph looks like. Instead of being an upward line, so instead of going like this, it's a descending line, so it goes downward. And I've never had a situation where I've actually used the Edie Hofstie equation, so I'm not going to go through exactly how to derive it.